Welcome. This is session number three. In this session, we are going to explore the Easy Teach menu, one of the functional areas. That's the icon for the Easy Teach menu. The Easy Teach menu has two panels. The right side is the recent documents. It shows about 10 recent documents, and you can choose one to open. On the left side, we have several shortcuts. New opens up a new document. When you open a new document, it will prompt you to save your changes or not save your changes, and it will close your existing document, which would mean that you can only open up one Easy Teach document at any given time. But I will show you a workaround to open more than one Easy Teach document. So that opens up a new Easy Teach document. This document has a .etng extension. Open, Easy Teach can open all supported files. There are only three supported files. It has to be a .etng or Easy Teach Next Generation file, or it has to be a .etnt, an Easy Teach template or it can be a .iwb, which stands for Interactive Whiteboard. It is a common file format, which hopefully will be accepted universally all over the world very soon. So here's the example. We have three files here, Poem, Poem 2, and Training. One is an Easy Teach Next Generation file, one is an Interactive Whiteboard file, and one is an Easy Teach Next Generation template. Save will save your existing document. Save as, again, has additional choices. We can save it as an Easy Teach Next Generation file, as an image, JPEG. When you save it as a JPEG, it will only save one page at a time. So it will only create or export the existing page. That means the page that you are on. The common file format will save the entire document in .iwb. This will gain prominence uh, in the coming years. Or we can save it as a portable document format, PDF. We'll save it as PDF, give it a name, click on Save. Takes a minute, saves it as a PDF. We're going to close the Easy Teach and explore the PDF. There it is. And here's our PDF document. It has five pages. It took barely a second to save it. Insert allows us to insert an Easy Teach document to our existing document. If I click on the number, it give, takes me to the storyboard more. In this particular document, we have only one page. I'm going to insert another Easy Teach document to this one page. I can insert our poem, which is the Easy Teach template. I didn't find any difference between the .etnt and .etng file extensions. They behave the same way. So now when I explore the storyboard, I have my entire poem uh, lesson inserted into the existing Easy Teach document. On this sample poem page, I have annotated some letters W, T, F, and S. And if I need to reset this page, I would go to the Easy Teach menu and reset page, and that will reset the page to its original state. Here's the workaround. To open more than one Easy Teach document, you minimize your existing Easy Teach document, go to the Start menu, and the Easy Teach program shortcut and open up another Easy Teach document. We'll take the pen, annotate the letter B to identify the document. We'll minimize this document 
and now in Windows 7 you can preview A and B and you can toggle between A and B and choose the one you need to open. View modes, My Easy Teach activities, Help and Exit Easy Teach. We'll review them in the next lesson. Thank you very much.